That's me, Glenn Martin. Father, dentist, lover. But mostly father and dentist. I took my family on a road trip so we can grow closer. Well, that and I burned the house down. So it's me, my wife Jackie, she's the sweetest. Oh, our son Connor, the ladies' man. His sister Courtney will all be working for her one day. In fact, her assistant Wendy already is. Ooh, can't forget K9. He's got a giant heart. Wanna hear us whistle? Let's hit the road. Magnificent, huh, kids? This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Now imagine what it would have been like if I'd gotten us here on time when the real space shuttle launched. Thrilling, Dad. Can we leave now? This humidity is wrecking our hair. Seriously, have you ever seen a Korean with a perm? I mean, other than Kim Jong-il? Yeah, let's go to Grandma's already. Oh, Grandma's not going anywhere. She's 80. Glenn, enough procrastinating. It's time to meet your mom's new boyfriend. He's not my father. Glenn? Fine, let's get her over with. Okay, boy. <laughs> Fine. One last time. Uh. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, but I'm just not that into you. You know, you can be a little more supportive of your mom. It's good that she found somebody. I'm sorry. I just find it a little weird that she's jumping into another relationship right after my dad died. He died 15 years ago. Let the body cool off, will you? <laughs> Give her a break. She worships the ground you walk on. You're exaggerating. W where are the fireworks? <laughs> That's more like it. Hey, Grandma. Oh, Connor, you got braces. <laughs> and you had tuna fish for lunch. Yeah? Courtney, you're so beautiful. I don't even know who you are, but look how big you've grown. Jackie. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> Glenn, my little doodlebug. Oh, Ma, stop it. All right, I'll do the other one. There you go, turning the other cheek. I'm gonna add that to my list of ways you're just like Jesus. All right, Ma, where is this guy? And he better not be in Dad's chair. Glenn, you had that chair moved to our house, which you then burned down. Good. Now it's with Dad. Oh, oh, there's plenty of time to meet Bert. Why don't we all just relax first? Glenn, be nice. All right, I'll keep an open mind, but I'm gonna hate him no matter what. Everyone, I would like to present my boyfriend, Bert. Hello, everybody. <gasps> Holy smokes! Kids, come meet Grandpa Bert. You know who else is underrated? Rosa Parks. Martin Luther King, also underrated. Harry Belafonte, never got his due. Mm-hmm. So, Bert, Sheila says you're an accountant. Wow! The things you must have seen! Actually, my office didn't have a window. My God! Sometimes I am so ashamed of this country. Huh? Bird, I understand you two met at a swim class. Jackie, that is wildly inappropriate. Sometimes I do not understand her sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking you fellas could hit the links. Great idea. Sounds good. You can't leave me alone with this woman. The whole time I've known her, we've said two words to each other, and they were both so. Jackie, you'll be fine. OK, Bert, let's bust a move. <gasps> I always say that phrase. I don't want to play. Jeez, take a hint, man. What you doing? Pro Shop pays a dollar for every golf ball you find. Cool. One ball is one dollar, two balls is two dollars, a thousand balls is, well, I know it's a lot. Oh, they're gonna pay big for this one. Doesn't even have any dents. <laughs> Canine, I've developed other interests, and they don't include you. So, that's our deal. Your mother goes dancing with me once a week, and I promise to watch my cholesterol. By the way, that's my grandson's name. Cholesterol? Oh, what a beautiful name. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Glenn. Oh, sorry. I'm a little nervous. I really want this to go well. 
No need to try hard, Glenn. You and I are gonna be all right. You don't know how long I've waited for you to say that. Since lunch. <laughs> okay, this isn't working. I've got a better idea. Ah! What's wrong with you? I got the need for speed. Look out, yoga granny! Ah! We're back! My wellness! Stop it! Ah! Ah! Look out! You just broke that! We are gonna be in so much trouble! Like I'm scared of anyone who owns a pink flamingo. No. No. Flamingo! You will be a fan! Have fun at SeaWorld. Don't sit in the splash zone. There's whale filth in there. Come on, Grandma. One more time. Okay. <laughs> it's freezing out here. <laughs> I still don't know how she does that. I gotta say, it was a real pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Can't believe it took three years for this to happen. Three years? Yeah, you mean three months. Did I say years? I must be having one of those senior moments Jay Leno's always talking about. Hey, want me to teach you an elaborate black handshake? Come on, Bert, what's the dealio? There's a dealio. I've earned the right to know it. <sighs> okay, it's true. Your mother and I have been together for three years. But we, we've been here five times since then. Did she hide you from me? No. Well, last time you were here, I hid in the closet. Had to pee in your dad's trophy cup. She was afraid you wouldn't be very open-minded. Hold on, what now? Let's go, let's go. It's time to be anywhere else. But I haven't had a chance to sell my golf balls yet. Whatever they're paying, I'll double it. Yeah! All right, off you go. Fight the power. Do the right thing. Yeah, but I just oh. wanted to... Whoa! My own mother thinks I'm not open-minded. That hurts. I'm so open-minded. I voted for Obama. So did I. You voted for him because you thought he was qualified. I voted for him because he was black. That's open-minded. What are you doing? I need to get this off my chest. But SeaWorld! They're real, Jackie. I was never gonna pay for SeaWorld. Hey, Ma, I just wanna... Whoa! Doodle! Glenn! Sorry to catch you in flagrante, which, by the way, I'm okay with, but I need to set the record straight. Mom, for you to think that I would have a problem with Bert being a black man of color is just... What? It's not because Bert's black. But then what is it? It's because we're swingers. Hi, we're the Schwartzes. Shabbat shalom. Uh... <laughs> uh, oh. what, what, what happened? Well, you walked in on me and Bird, then we explained we were swingers. Uh. Ah! Doodle, you're awake. Would you like me to run through the series of events again? No, no, I think I got it. Would you mind signing this release? Thanks. I might have burned off one of your nipples. You didn't tip the paramedic? Ah, I'll give him a dollar. Mother, what is going on here? I've got Sanka! So you're the dentist. Personally, I don't know how you put your hands into so many strangers' mouths. Me? Mmm, Esther, your cake is so moist. Seriously, Bert. Seriously? I just find this fascinating. How did you all connect? I mean, you're not even aware of the internet, right? Well, we saw a flyer for a swing dancing club, but it turned out... Chicka, chicka, bow, wow, chicka, okay, chicka. Okay, pajama party's over. Everyone out. Sorry, guys. I need time with my son. But nobody's touched my kugel. We'll have it Wednesday. And remember, it's movie night, so bring your camera. I'll call you later, sweetie. <laughs> Something you want to talk about? Yes, and I don't want to talk about it. I have several questions, Sheila. Whoa! Wake up! My golf ball's hatching! Whoa, a baby dinosaur. Uh, yeah, that's an alligator. And you're a moron. We're gonna be best friends. I've always wanted a pet. Oh, looky, he's getting his first tooth. Glenn, we need to talk about your mom. Talk about what? I'm fine. 
Got my old slot cars out, got my jammies on. Couldn't be better adjusted. Stupid slot car, I hate you. I know your mom's new lifestyle is a little hard to handle, but you have to see it from her point of view. Oh, wrinkly grossness. She had a wonderful 40 years with your father, but now he's gone, and she's in the autumn of her life. This is her chance to explore new things, positions. Mm. Sorry, I just find it so interesting. Is it like a cocktail party where you have to make sure no one's being ignored, or, or like seventh grade where it's cool to ignore people? Let's just go to SeaWorld. I don't care what it costs or how much well feces we sit in. Glenn Campbell Martin, we are not leaving until you accept your mother for who she is. Oh. <laughs> okay, then it's settled. I'm just gonna fire off a quick email to Ira Glass at This American Life. <laughs> we destroyed someone's flamingo. That's private property. We have to turn ourselves in. Oh, God, that's what I can't stand about you. You have no guts. Quit it. You have no spine. Stop. No guts. Ow. No spine. Ah. Look, my fingers are touching. Compliments of this chef. Ooh, Ooh. fancy. <laughs> I am Ovi. Before I retire here, I was agent for Mossad. You know Mossad? Like your FBI, but with more Uzi. I don't know what you're talking about. You broke my flamingo. I want confession. You heard of Tel Aviv? Now you Tel Aviv. <gasps> you got nothing on us. Not yet. But I've got my eye on you. <laughs> so many choices. That's the good thing about these places. You can dip your fork in a little bit of everything. Come on, this is a family restaurant. Glenn. That's right, Connor. You can have Chinese, Italian. Personally, I'd get Mexican every day if my body could handle it. <laughs> in about an hour, she'll be so stuffed she won't be able to walk out of here. No, son. Good people pick one dish and stick to it. Your mother and I made a commitment to egg salad and plan to eat it forever. Right, honey? Oh, there are four kinds of sausages here. I'm in heaven. Jackie. Has no one any decency? Doodlebug, you're making a scene. Scene? This whole place is a scene. Look at those two getting it out right in front of us. <laughs> That's it. You either talk to your mother or I'm taking you to a therapist. Fine. Mother, there's something I want to tell you. You just put your only son in therapy. Sometimes my father doesn't even remember who I am. <laughs> I had to take away mom's license. Her last link to independence. I don't mean to turn this into a competition, but I can top all of you. My mom makes Whoopi with multiple partners. That's your problem? My father hasn't left his bed in 12 years. Check under the blanket, sweetie. My mom might be in there with him. Um, I think you need to leave. Five years ago, she couldn't touch her toes. Now she's doing this, and this, and this. Wait, is your mom Sheila Martin? Sheila the Squeela? Ha! <laughs> I'll kill you! Where's my mom? Book club at the Schwartz's. Book club? Okay, orgy. You have no right to go there! Well, I suppose I could tag along. Drop in your golf cart keys or your medical alert bracelet. Glenn, Lou Schwartz! You owe me a dollar. Hi, Jackie Martin for This American Life. Don't be fooled by these wings. I ain't no angel. Where is she? Oh, Glenn, uh, we, we were just in the middle of our book club. I like the symbolism in chapter two. Where is she? Checking the rear. Mother! Oh! Sorry, folks. I was looking for my mother. Carry on. Down here, Doodlebug. That's it. I'm moving you out of this place. Ooh. Ah, pretty swank, huh, Ma? We'll drop you off today, and tomorrow we'll bring the rest of your stuff. But this place looks so depressing. Trust me, this place is great. It's got the smell of a real institution. And look, right here, three new friends. Two new friends. Whatever makes you happy, Glenn. Grandma, could you do it again? It's so cold and we can ah! Mm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. No sharp objects. We gotta get your younger sister fit for an open gown. Younger sister, do you hear that? Great off-the-cuff humor. I don't get it. 
Why don't you want Grandma to be with Bert? Yeah, Dr. Martin. Let's see, how do I say this to a child? It's because Bert is black. Glenn! You want me to tell him the truth? Uh, it's true, dear. Your father's a horrible racist. How can you feel good about this? She was so happy with him. Yeah, but what do we know about Bert? Sure, he's like Morgan Freeman, but Morgan Freeman doesn't always play the good guy. Sometimes he's the bad guy who you think is the good guy. We can't take a chance on what kind of Morgan Freeman Bert is. For liability reasons, residents are forbidden to walk. Wow, first class! Oh. Meet the host of Israel's American Idol? Huh, why not? That's a trap. You're not the host of Israel's American Idol. Actually, I was. Three seasons. So if you like, I give autograph. Then I get confession. What do you think this little boy would say if he knew you were locking his mommy up in a home? That little boy didn't know about the birds and the bees. And bees and bees and bees. Who's the cutest little <laughs> Cool and stick to the story. We never came up with a story. All right, girls. I'm going to lay it all on the table. Six day war. Day one. Day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. I cannot show you. Okay, you're more than a little scary, but you have nothing. Oh no! Harvey finds security tape of you murdering beloved flamingo. Now, you confess here, or we show leniency. Or else, have it turn tape over to police. This go on permanent record. Good luck getting into Brandeis. Brandeis? That was my backup backup. How'd I get to this place? Oh my god, my life is flushing. Play the tape. Avi says what? Courtney also says what? You say you have proof. Let's see it. What are you doing? Growing a spine like the land mammal I am. Okay, Avi play tape. Getting closer. I think you're bluffing. I think you're bluffing. Really? Well, I'm guessing you blink first. Damn it. Avi blink first. I've got to admit it, when under fire, you're braver than I am. I think we're both pretty brave. Get in there. Ow! Hey, what's going on here? Is that an alligator? Yeah, it's my new pet. <laughs> Ow! Connor, you can't just put a collar on something and call it a pet. Good boy. Now heal. But I love him, and I want to protect him. Well, it's not going to be very happy in there. Just because you love something, it doesn't mean you know what's best for it. What have I done? Set her free, son. Make her happy. But it's a boy. His name's Mitch. Oh! You know where my mother is? She's probably at one of our many fun activities. Let's see, Stillwell funeral, Heinrich funeral. Oops, that's been postponed. He is a fighter. We are here to celebrate the life of, oh, I know I'm gonna embarrass myself trying to pronounce this. Ma, I need to talk to you. There's nothing left to say, Glenn. You got what you wanted. No, you, you don't belong here. Let me just... I said I have nothing left to say. And if there's anyone who'd like to say a few words about, uh... Yikes, that's a lot of consonants. Uh, I invite you to come up now. <laughs> ah, I got this. Dear friends, all her life, the uh, deceased only wanted one thing, to make me happy, and yet, when she finally found happiness, I ruined it. She asked me to understand her voracious carnal desires and I was just too freaked out to even try. I thought Auntie was a nun. Logan Mogan, if you can hear me, and I know you can because I'm looking right at you, let me take you home. There's a big waterbed full of people who are ready to love you. Oh, doodle. You stay away from my Auntie, sicko! <laughs> You'll always have a piece of my heart, Mitch. And a chunk of my thumb. Come on, boy. Let's go play.
Thank you, Glenn. It takes a big man to admit his mistakes. Ma, Bert, I wish you a lifetime of exploring together. At least until the good voters of Florida pass a proposition to ban it. Just so you know, Bert and I are going to try those swing dancing classes. And maybe someday we'll slow down on the other stuff. Well, you know me, Ma. I'm happy as long as you're happy. I'm proud of you, Glenn. You do know the Schwartzes were hiding behind the curtains, right? Oh, yeah, I could smell it, Kugel. Now let's get out of here before hell opens up and swallows us all.